Hey, what's up guys and welcome back. My name again is Steve Potts and today you guys are looking at a behind the scenes scene of me preparing to shoot a little video of myself sitting on the couch. What's different about this is that I'm actually doing a dual camera or a two camera recording system with a separate audio recorder, okay? See over here, I've got my H1 Zoom, we're gonna record my audio. I've got a wide angle camera over here and over here I have a camera with a shallower depth of field. Right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the footage from both these cameras and the audio from my audio recorder and I'm gonna put it all inside Camtasia and edit it to make one smooth video. So you might ask yourself, why? Why, Steve? Why, why do you wanna to go to all the trouble? You've got all these cameras you gotta set up, you got a video recorder, you gotta go do things too with the audio now. It's a pain in the ass. Why would you do it? So, I'll tell you why you're going to do it. First of all, do you guys know what a jump cut is? This is a jump cut. This is a jump cut. This is me going back over here doing a jump cut. This is me pulling my pants up right now because my pants are falling down. Not a jump cut though. Anyway, so jump cuts sort of break immersion. Now, instead of doing a jump cut, if I was to have to edit something because all of a sudden I've got a perfect, I'm just rolling, the, the words are just rolling off my tongue and I'm getting a perfect flow and I'm like, oh my God, this video is going so great. But all of a sudden I forget what I was going to say and I'm start saying things like, um, ah, uh, ooh, the doorbell rings, the phone rings. I go, fuck, right? I'm going to have to cut that shit out. So what do I have to do? is either have jump cuts or simply transition to another camera view when the video is back rolling smooth again. When your recording is rolling smooth again, you just have cuts to different angles. That's one reason why you would go to all of this trouble to make the, your finished product look a lot better so that you don't have to get that perfect delivery, okay? You don't have to stand in front of that camera and deliver all your lines perfectly without any mistakes because if you make the one mistake, oh, you gotta go all the way back or oh, use a jump cut. That doesn't look good. Jump cuts don't look good. I'm telling you, man, don't look good. They don't look professional. All right, so the other reason why you might want to set this kind of a setup up where you have separate audio and two cameras recording at the same time is when you're doing an actual interview with somebody, okay? You can set up a wide angle shot in which you have both people one asking questions and the one answering questions you have both people in the shot and then you can close up on the person who's being interviewed so that when she says something significant or when you're getting a true emotion from this person like maybe a tear something right or laughter <laughs> Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. Right? what you can do is you can close up on that right and make the interview seem more intimate so that the person watching that interview can get a better view of what's emotionally happening there because you're getting a nice close-up of this person's face and you can either sense their happiness or sense their sadness of what's actually being captured there okay so that's a good reason you can have one camera do one job and another camera do another job great reason to have dual cameras another reason to have uh, the dual camera set up over here is perfectly illustrated here by cm coleman you see what he has here is a camera on the roof and then he has a camera actually looking at him, right? So he has one shot of him talking and then he switches to the overhead camera to actually show you what he's doing with his hands. So that's a perfect use of a dual camera system, right? Okay, so now have we talked about what we need to do here with the audio or not? Probably not yet, because I've done this video a couple of times now, because you know, it's a pain in the ass when you record with only one camera. See what I'm saying, All right? It's difficult, because now I forget, have I, have I talked about this or not? Don't know. It would be really great if I was currently doing a dual camera system because then I would just be able to redo the things and blah, 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 and blah, 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 and perfect. But we don't. I only have the one camera. God damn it, I've got to use it. So anyway, um, important to note. Two different cameras need to shoot at the same frame rate. Look at your camera settings, okay? If you have to go into manual settings to pull that off, do that. Shoot test footage with both cameras to make sure that the footage looks more or less the same. Otherwise, you're going to have to do some color balancing afterwards to try and get the footage more or less the same. Okay? 
Because you don't want one camera that's like blue and the other one looks purple or gray or red for God's sake, right? Because then you cut the one camera to the other, not only are you cutting cameras, you're cutting like a completely different color spectrum, which just makes your footage look silly. Okay, so that's, that's important. Make sure the cameras are both shooting similar or close to similar footage. In other words, check your white balances, check your ISOs, stuff like that, right? And then also make sure that both cameras and your audio recording device record audio at the same megahertz ratio. You'll see that. Okay, I have a slight problem today because uh, actually I have to use this camera and this camera shoots at 380 megahertz. That one shoots at 480 megahertz. So there's a hundred megahertz difference between those two cameras, which is gonna throw me off a little bit because I'm currently using the camera that I normally have my B camera to do this video. Okay, pen in the butt. But make sure that your kilohertz or megahertz, sorry, ratio for your audio recorder and your cameras are the same. Okay, and the reason for that is because that is the magic trick to lining all three of these things up. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit on my butt on that couch. I'm going to turn both cameras on. Both cameras are recording audio and video, and this is going to be recording audio over here. I'm going to sit on my couch, and when I'm ready, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to do my video, and when I'm done my video, when I'm like, damn, okay, that nailed it. I'm going to sign off with those three claps. Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how I actually edit all this footage, okay? I'm going to sit on that couch, I'm going to record myself a little bit of test footage, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my test footage available to you, so that you have the footage of two different cameras and audio, and that you'll be able to then line it up and sync them all in for yourself, okay? You're, you're going to take this footage that I'm going to give you, and you're going to do it, okay? Because I'm going to show you how to do it, so that you have the material, you can watch the next video. I'm going to show you in Camtasia how I actually line everything up, okay? So that you will in future be able to use dual camera recording for yourself, okay? So if you have a camera in your iPhone, you'll be able to do dual camera. If you have two iPhones, dual camera recording, no problem. You have an iPhone, some other crappy phone. Not that other phones are crappy, I'm just saying. If you have some other phone, right? Use two phones, that's fine. You have two camcorders, that's fine. Always just make sure the audio match and the uh, the megahertz match and that the picture quality is going to be almost the same okay okay guys so this is it for this video the behind the scenes over here with steve setting up dual cameras right dual cameras it's like some sort of dueling thing dueling banjos dueling cameras dueling right who knows but anyway yeah this is me behind the scenes Keep your eyes out for the next video. It's coming, okay? Steve out.